these people? Arrest these people! Yeah, Maxine Waters wants to fucking kill Donald Trump with her hands. Or also wants her followers to do so. This is like Hasanabi out of context clips, dude. This is this is like Hasanabi out of context clips. If if you could you could literally just do that. Over the course of the 12 hours that I'm live every fucking day, you could absolutely just fucking clip shit out. You could clip it out from just the past hour that I've been streaming. Also, again, completely irrelevant to the matter at hand. Okay? You can't... Let's say there is a court... That you're in Listen, court. There is a trial going on because you robbed the bank. You can't turn around and make a defense about how, well, you know, Johnny robbed the bank. Or uh, Johnny actually uh, evades his taxes. So me robbing this bank currently is now irrelevant. Why? What are you going to do about Johnny uh, evading taxes? See? Wow, you guys are so hypocritical. Okay, open up a separate case for that then. But that's not how the law works. That's not how it works in this circumstance. And while the impeachment trial is a symbolic one and it's, it's a political one and it's not actually, it's not actually a, uh, what do you call it? It's not actually like a, like a real court proceeding. They're not going to, uh, they're not going, Donald Trump's not going to jail, unfortunately. It doesn't work that way. I bet they hired an intern to make sick memes for evidence. Night. Take them out now. Okay. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. <laughs> awful lot about blowing up the White House. Please get up in the face of some Congress people. People will do what they do. I think it'd be pretty funny if they launched a countersuit or something and actually arrested these people though, because that'd be pretty funny. Like, be honest. Like, it's just Madonna and Johnny Depp. Especially with this music, guys. Guys, with this music, I'm starting to get a little scared. I don't know. Uh, FBI, right here. They're right here. Regardless, though, completely unimportant to this particular case. There is, there, there has never been a situation in which you can just be like, well, other people got away with it. Why can't we? Like, that's not a fucking, that's not how you defend yourself. That's how children defend themselves. That's so fucking stupid that if I tried to use that at the no pixel role play court, oh, champ. the fucking judge who otherwise plays a character as a hick, uh, an inbred hick, would literally be like, yeah, no, that's not gonna fall. You're going to fucking jail. Okay? Like, it literally would not work in a video game uh, court trial. Pog champ. And yet, here are. Republicans and their brain trust presenting this as a fucking reasonable argument. Incredible, dude. Also, Madonna said, I thought about blowing up the White House, right? Hold on. I want to see this. I want to see what was this. Anymore, anywhere. I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. So, what was that? I mean, impeach Madonna, that'd be pretty funny. Thank you. So she's saying I that am it outraged about blowing up the White House. Uh-huh. But I know Thanks to Madonna. that this won't change anything. We cannot fall. What? That's crazy. What? Wait a minute. I thought this was just about her contemplating to blow up the fucking White House, dude. That's so weird. What? 
You you mean to tell me that the Republican defense strategy is literally anal blaster 69 on the fucking LSF subreddit? Like literally, this is LSF clip chip shit, dude. Your Honor, I think we need to try this in the court of public opinion. I, anal blaster 69, have decided to take this matter to court by clip chimping Madonna. To defend Donald Trump in a fucking impeachment trial. The real world is far too stupid for me to cover. I'm sorry. There is no fucking way that like, there's no way you could look at this and be like, what a reasonable approach here. You know what? Thank God the Republican Party has their shit together. And remember, folks, remember, this impeachment is an olive branch to the Republicans. Okay, yes, it is an enforcement of accountability. Okay, some sort of accountability is good to have in this situation. It's good to have this in the history books so that there is somewhat of a precedent. Oh, they're showing a new Conduct montage? Of President okay, let's watch Trump. this. That the point I was going to say, no, before I do that, the point I was going to say is it's an olive branch. This impeachment is supposed to be an opportunity for the Republicans to say we're different. We're different than the... Uh, we're different than this. Donald Trump does not represent us. Yes, he's violent, and he's not, he doesn't represent us. Capitol Hill, this was all planned out. How much of it was, was planned? How much of this was strategized ahead of time? They are getting indications, uh, some evidence that they've seen that indicates uh, that there was some level of planning. There appears to be premeditation. FBI internal report the day before the siege warning of a violent war at the Capitol. The FBI issued a warning of a, quote, war at the Capitol. The FBI warned law enforcement agencies about this specific attack. Be ready to fight. Congress needs to hear glass breaking, doors being kicked in. We developed some intelligence that a number of individuals were planning to travel to the D.C. area with intentions to cause violence. We immediately shared that information. And they pushed out that information through this JTTF structure. It was immediately disseminated through a written product and briefed through our command post operations to all levels of law enforcement. The FBI says two pipe bombs discovered near the Capitol on January 6th were placed there the night before. New video appears to show a person suspected of planting pipe bombs near the U.S. Capitol the night before. The FBI now says the bombs were planted the night before the Capitol siege between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. They were planted the day before. All goes to the idea yes. of premeditation and coordination right. among individuals. This was a planned assault as if going after a castle. Wait, that's, this is the Trump team president? So to answer the question of the House manager, does anybody believe that this would have occurred but for the speech from Donald Trump? I do. What? All of these facts make clear the January 6th speech did not cause the riots. The president did not cause the riots. He neither explicitly or implicitly encouraged the use of violence or lawless action, but in fact called for peaceful exercise of every American's First Amendment rights to peacefully assemble and petition their government for redress of grievances. In other words, the Brandenburg standard is not made out. Do they think that like the January 6th is the first time Donald Trump talked unknown. about January 6th in and of Even itself, Speaker or the Pelosi first time Donald Trump talked about fucking the doing real something cause of the violence to fight back? She called for a 9/11 style commission to examine the facts and causes that led to the violence. Okay. On the screen is Speaker Pelosi's call for the 9-11 Commission. Let's touch now on the second absurd and conflated allegation in the House manager's single article. Keep it up. President Trump's phone call to Georgia Secretary of State Ben Raffensperger surreptitiously recorded, by the way, included and included multiple attorneys and others on the call. Let me point out the very obvious fact that the House managers ignored. 
The private call that was made public by others cannot really be the basis to claim that the president in, uh, intended to incite a riot because he did not publicly disclose the contents of the call. Oh my God, dude! Hoped to use this That's call awesome. to invite his followers if he had no intent to make the conversation public and indeed okay but that's not the only the time he talked about this reported. shit the house managers told you that the president demanded that the georgia secretary of state quote find just over eleven thousand votes the word find like so many others guys the house managers sense. highlighted Guys, is taken when you publicly incite violence and riots and, and instigate it over and over again, come out and then privately air. do it as well, if we hyper-focus on the private one that was made public, data then we could just act the like the other ones don't exist. The in Georgia in 2016 was approximately 6.42%. And even though a tremendous amount of new first-time mail-in ballots were included in the 2020 count, the Georgia rejection rate in 2020 was a mere four, four tenths of one percent, a drop off from 6.42 percent to 0.4 percent. President Trump wanted the signature verification to be done in public. How can a request for signature verifications to be done in public be a basis for a charge for inciting a riot? With that background, it is clear that President Trump's comments and the use of the word find were solely related to his concerns with the inexplicable dramatic drop in Georgia's ballot rejection rates. Let's examine how the word find was used throughout that conversation. Mr. Trump's first use of the word find was as follows, quote, we think that if you check the signatures, a real check of the signatures going back in Fulton County, you'll find at least a couple hundred thousand of forged signatures of people who have been forged. And we are quite sure that's going to happen. President Trump also used find as follows, quote, now why aren't we doing signature and why can't it be open to the public? And why can't we have professionals do it instead of rank amateurs who will never find anything and don't want to find anything? They don't want to find, you know, they don't want to find anything. Someday you'll tell me the reason why, because I don't understand your reasoning, but someday you'll- Honestly, Donald Trump should have just uh, called up Dream and got his fucking astrophysicist guy to do his defense. Because that dude did a way better job of defending Dream than this motherfucker's doing with Donald Trump. And robust investigation into the lack of signature verification for mail-in and absentee ballots. Quote, And why can't we have professionals do it instead of rank amateurs who will never find anything and don't want to find anything? They don't want to find anything, you know, they don't want to find anything. They don't want to find, you know, they don't want to find anything. Someday you'll tell me why, because I don't understand your reasoning, but someday you'll tell me why. But why don't you want to find? We can go through signature verification and we'll find hundreds of thousands of signatures and you can let us do it. And the only way you can do that, do it, as you know, is to go to the past. I wonder what Republicans, uh, what uh, depths Republicans will go to with conspiracy theories as long as it's like associated with black or brown people being like the primary villains in it. And what I mean by that is like this whole argument around voter fraud is completely done. Like it, it's just, it's completely made up. All right. Completely made up, entirely made up. It is one of the, one of the most, like, studied fucking lies that is easily identifiable as a lie. Republicans have studied it and found no wrongdoing, or, or at least, like, not enough instances of voter fraud happening to move the needle. 
Democrats have, bipartisan uh, institutions have taken a look at this. It is a completely made up, nonsensical position that Republicans push for. And the only reason why hogs believe it is because the villains in, the cir in this circumstance are, you know, black and brown people that are doing the voter fraud, right? I wonder what else you could get them to believe, though, after years and years and years of repeating the same lie, regardless of uh, a, a very clear absence of evidence. Like, what could you get them to believe? That, like, I don't know, like, actually, Mexicans uh, are coming to America to, to take away our... What, 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 what's food that white people like to eat? Like, fucking raisins and potato salad or something? Like, they want to take away your raisins and the potato salad and make you only... They won't take your bread away and only make you eat fucking tortilla. Like, I wonder if they would, uh, I wonder if they would believe that. Just like something insanely stupid, just as a test. If Republicans just repeated that over and over again, like, like what would happen? Would they build out like a, like a sourdough commission? You know what I mean? In defense of American bread manufacturers, American sovereignty is under threat by Mexicans who want to, who want to change our bread to tortilla. You can't put a mayo on tortilla, my friend. You know what I mean? Like, as long as... what I'm, I, I guess basically what I'm trying to say is as long as, like, non-white uh, people that are, like, the flavor of the decade as far as who the villains are, and black people have always been the villains in, in this conversation, but uh, the other part is interchangeable. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, you know, it used to be Polish people, Jewish people, Italian people, Greek people... Uh, and now it's, uh, it used to be Muslims. It's still Muslims, uh, to some degree. Uh, but, but definitely, uh, Absolutely. Latin American, like Latinos, Hispanics, uh, immigrating. You know, as long as you tie it back to them being the villain, I think Republicans will believe everything. And you can just use it as a talking point. It, it, you literally do not need evidence at all. You can just use that as a talking point and just move on with it. Asians are actually, uh, uh, the the uh, season of the month, I would say, the season of the past year, the the new flavor, is uh, Asians being the villain, because uh, uh, you know, because China. So uh, you know, get excited for that, Asians. This president, he will get reelected. The goal is to eliminate a political opponent to substitute their judgment for the will of the voters. Members of the Senate, our country needs to get back to work. Some of the people in the room are I know surprised. that you know that. that. Happy people Lunar uh, New Year, but by the way. instead, we are here. The majority party promised to unify and deliver more COVID relief. But instead, they did this. We will not take most of our time today, us of the defense, in the hopes that you will take back these hours and use them to get delivery of COVID relief to the American people. Let us be clear, this trial is about far more than President Trump. It is about silencing oh and banning haircut. the speech Oh, ew, the majority Ted does Cruz. not ew. agree with. It is about canceling 75 million Trump voters and criminalizing political. Bro, I can't do this. I'm sorry. I, I got to move on from this. I I'll look at the Trump uh, like video compilations maybe a little bit more, but like I can't do this. They're literally saying it's cancel culture. Everything I said as a joke the first day of the fucking trial has come out to be the legitimate defense. I said, is he running out the fucking clock to really bore people? Next day, they come out and they say, yeah, actually, um, Trump's lawyer was running out the clock to make this as boring as possible. I said, are they going to say this is actually cancel culture? Come on, they can't go that far. They're literally doing it. They're saying that this is cancel culture. I'm losing my fucking mind, okay? It's crazy. It is absolutely pathetic, dude. How the fuck do you get away with this? Find yourself in this position. 
To the Republicans in this chamber, I ask, when you are next in the majority, please resist what will be an overwhelming temptation to do this very same thing to the opposing party. Can you try and not politicize racial violence against Asians or others in this case? Because it's really actually political and it's kind of disgusting. You are manipulating your chat that way. It says PVC, XQC, small PP. Yes, when hate crimes against Asians increase by like 1,200%, um, that's actually, again, you literally said racial violence against Asians. Can you not racialize racial violence against Asians, dude? I talked about this yesterday. There's a difference between like people uh, targeting Asian people because they think like, all right, these people have fucking money. Um, and a difference between like, oh, fuck them. They're responsible for COVID. But when someone is caught for a hate crime, hey. when someone is caught for a fucking hate crime, well, that's entirely different. That's literally a fucking hate crime. Like, and uh, when we talk about the increase in hate crimes against Asians, and that's what we're talking about. Hate crimes specifically. Happy Lunar Year, Habibi. Here's your red envelope. So the argument that can you stop politicizing racial violence against Asians by racializing it is hilarious. I don't know what else to fucking say. You are trying to blame Trump voters for that violence. That's my point. No, I never fucking said Trump voters are. No, dumbass. I didn't say Trump voters are the ones who are. Oh, my God. You're so fucking stupid. Why did you add that? Why did you add that yourself? I never fucking said that. I don't know who the fuck is doing it. I just said that there is increased racial violence against Asians. I said there's increased racial violence against Asians while I'm talking about political violence and other shit too. But that is still increased hate crimes against Asians. I think my personal speculation and the opinion of others also comes from uh, the fact that COVID and anti-Chinese sentiment. And even yesterday I talked about this where I said even Democrats fucking do this. There are big reasons for why there is an increase in hate crimes against Asians. I literally said this yesterday. Not only are Republicans doing this, but fucking Democrats are doing it too. And I even push back against people saying like, oh, well, uh, maybe they're doing it because they think, you know, uh, the, the Uyghur concentration camps are the reason. Like, no, no one gives a fuck about Muslim, Asian Muslims uh, getting uh, put in fucking concentration camps, okay? They're doing it because they're like, uh, COVID and uh, China's taking over. That's why they're doing it. And don't tell me, like, well, why are Korean people getting fucking uh, owned in this situation? Because racist people are fucking indiscriminate in their racialized attacks against non-whites. Just like no one is, like, distinguishing between Sikh people and fucking Muslims when they think that they're hurting a Muslim person and go and attack a fucking Sikh person. They think that they're fucking harming a Muslim person when they're doing hate crimes. Backtracking, Andy? Don't say he's backtracking. He, he said, oh, okay, maybe I misunderstood your point. That's not backtracking. He fucking misunderstood my point. He's admitting that. Stop saying backtracking. Why are they so obsessed with signatures? It's been proven that most people's signatures vary significantly. Uh, that's precisely why, my friend. Signatures is yet another way to purge a bunch of people immediately off of voter rolls. So you could just basically say, these are signatures that don't match. You can say everyone's signature does not match because most signatures don't fucking match. So it's just one other way to purge people in specific neighborhoods from voter rolls. That's it. Ink can be traced, you moron. Wait, yeah. what? You think that's how they verify signatures? What? I'm so confused. Could you address my previous dono? Seriously confused about the Antifa thing. Poggers. But that's why, that's why they, um, 
that's why they advocate for uh, signature check and signature matching. Not because they legitimately want to protect the integrity of our elections or anything like that, but because they want to have another way of purging a bunch of fucking votes uh, immediately. Any way they can purge 10 votes, 20 votes, 1,000 votes, 100,000 votes, 50,000 votes is good for them. That's why they try to do voter ID measures. That's why... That's why in places like fucking Mississippi or uh, Tennessee, for example, uh, when the universal, uh, universal uh, mail-in ballots were pushed on the national stage, they immediately implemented protocols that, uh, that created unnecessary additional hurdles. Like, for example, you have to have uh, two additional witnesses sign when you're, signing, uh, your, when you're casting your vote by mail. Why? Because some people miss that. Some people don't remember. Boom, that vote is gone. Or now you have three fucking signatures that you can match. Boom, you can easily have not one, not two, but three different methods of saying this vote should not matter, should not be counted. If you don't do that, if you didn't get two uh, signature matches or not signature matches, if you didn't get two people to sign as witnesses that you cast your ba uh, ballot in a valid way, then they wanted you to go and notarize it. That's additional money that you have to spend. That's like implementing a fucking poll tax. Okay? And this is happening in the middle of a fucking pandemic. Why would they do that? Why would they want you to notarize your vote? Because they want to make it as hard as fucking possible. Or in Pennsylvania. Why do you think they had the, the uh, naked ballots? Called Georgia's Secretary of State in the state of Pennsylvania... State. And this happens in most uh, places that have universal mail-in ballots. You, you have the option of having uh, a, a ballot hidden, right? You can, you can add an additional piece of paper or like you put it in an additional fucking a piece of paper where your ballot is hidden. Therefore, uh, you, you hide who you are uh, while you're voting for someone, right? But in Pennsylvania, it wasn't a suggestion. It was turned into the actual fucking law. Like, if you had a naked ballot, then your vote would not be uh, considered. Your vote was uh, declared null and void. Why? Why did they turn that away from a protective suggestion for the voter into Trump literally another, only one uh, in, into another in hurdle that would allow you to uh, purge a significant number of votes? They do these sorts of things, not because they care about election integrity, but because there are additional hurdles that you can put in front of people casting a fucking vote, in front of people exercising their civic duties, okay? Because they hate democracy. That's it. And if you want further proof then don't listen to me, Love a leftist himbo lost. who is very clearly biased. Listen to Donald Trump, who personally admitted if we have universal mail-in ballots, Republicans will never win another election ever again. He fucking admitted it. Anyway, having said that, having said that, boys, oh, the PogChan vote is happening right now? I don't fucking care. All right, I'll go there in a second. And we back, and we back, and we back, and we back, and But, we oh, back, here, here's another, back. here's another fucking Republican famously admitting this. This is like uh, the father of modern conservatism. Goo syndrome. Good government. They want everybody to vote. I don't want everybody to vote. Elections are not won by a majority of people. They never have been from the beginning of our country, and they are not now. As a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. Sure, Falwell and Ronald Reagan was also there. They addressed the gathering. Weirich co-founded the Heritage Foundation, Moral Majority, Free Congress Foundation, American Legislative Exchange Council, ALEC. I talk about that a lot with the Koch brothers funding it as well. And continues to host weekly strategy hey, sessions for right-wing leaders. This guy's one of the, one of the most uh, significant, pivotal fucking leaders of the modern conservative movement. Okay? Kind of weird. Kind of fucking weird 
that uh, these dudes very openly state that they're not interested. All right, how the fuck do we uh, vote for this shit? The pog championing or whatever. So many, I already have so many pictures of me making the pog face. This is going to be easy, you know? And then I spent the day going In 10 minutes? Okay, well, I don't give a shit. We're not going to fucking do that right now. God damn, you guys are so silly. But here's what we are going to do. We'll do that when the voting is happening. But what we are going to do right now is not that, but instead uh, a top of the hour, every hour, 60 second ad break. It's the first one of the day, uh, and you already know what the deal is. You can avoid the ads if you uh, want to by subscribing. You do it for $5, which comes down to two cents an hour throughout the entire year. Or if you don't want to do that, you can do it for free by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. And that gives you one free Prime subscription. It's open for 15 minutes. You're wrong. Okay, it's happening now. All right, I don't know how to fuck to, to do it then. I don't know. Yeah, it's not top of the hour. I fucked it up. I, I, I got too excited while I was doing a rant, and I forgot. Here's the fucking ad. Shut up. The three bars on the right of the Twitch stream. Is it really that important to vote right now for this? Look up to, um, they oh, this is actually it. like tweeted back at Twitch to let them know, hey, you spelled her name wrong. And when I saw that, I was like, they know me. That's so cool. <laughs> that is amazing. I love I thought, that story. I, yeah, Are you I drinking thought it was kombucha? Really nice no, I'm drinking cold brew. That, to let them know. I'm getting emotional right now because this is like so weird. <laughs> but um, you had a lot of people, people who tweeted, who tweeted, this is the best. I love this. Even in the tweet yesterday, where we like didn't even announce that you were one of the followers. Wait, we so it's gonna be Umi like, or we love Komodo Umi. hype? We That's let her it. Be our pod champ. She was my favorite one, and so it must feel. Why don't they show pretty. what the I fucking one looked like? I, want, I don't, I don't remember. Make you cry, but it, it was really nice to see uh, people kind of embrace. Your Are they pod doing bracket champ style? Like, That's what I want to Let's like see what represent happens. me in chat. Oh, yeah. results are was, hidden. Um, I can't see it. It was very surreal to see that people enjoyed it because I think the best that we can do is just. Um, Komodo, you, know, all you of betrayed us a community? Yes, I know, to, I know. You guys continue. are fucking babies. And that emo is important to all of us as a community. So I'm just glad that I could have made the expression good enough for people to enjoy. And it's that, harder than it looks. Oh my God. Why is she crying? It is. It is. It's yes. it, it, it is. is. Not it is. Try it. Paul, Days. I, I, I just. <laughs> I do. I do just want to say, um, you know, we talked a little bit about it yesterday. Oh, this just is better. We Fuck. Kind of getting ready for this everything. This is actually and, one of the best. And one of my favorite things about Twitch is the synergy okay, that exists between know. the communities and this visual vocabulary that no, we all not. have yes, is. that it's is unique to our own channels, one. but also globally we share. Um, and I think you just kind of, you know, Voting your emotion, Umi, which I say thank Oh no, I voted without putting the appropriate amount of research in. This is exactly what I, oh, typical fucking hypocritical lefty, dude. Typical hypocrite lefty. You understand? Look at what he's doing. Doesn't fucking practice what he preaches, folks. Straight up. Straight up, typical. Did not do the research. Thank fucking you, voted. Really love your content. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I want Myth to win. To to ultimately, because that's my fucking boy. But awesome work. Hassle. No DSA got. Is this the ra racial violence against Asians people are talking about? Oh come on, dude. I am the uneducated voter. Okay, can we move away from this? This is kind of fucking stupid, honestly. Like, I, I find this to be a little, a little dumb. Um, you know, you can, everyone got their votes in. Like, I don't want to fucking watch this. Hassan, do your own research. But really, is it not dumb? Do you guys really want to watch this? I feel like you don't want to watch this. We can just like do, we can go back when we find out in the pivotal moment, right? You know, you go, you fucking vote and you're done with your voting and then We'll what get back to it. This? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a fucking emote. Like, I really don't care. Especially because, like, BTTV and Franker's face shit is, like, way better. Oh! No! It's Claire McCaskill! Oh! Oh! All right, abort. That's worse. That's worse. 
Thanks for Myth all already lost? Oh no. What the fuck, guys? I fucking up. I fucked up. I got an email two days ago that my team and I didn't send. See, before I started all the myth for PogChamp shit. Voting for my PogChamp isn't an option. I'm sorry for debating you all. Oh no. Sorry, sorry, by the way, to Umino Kaiju and Komodo High for... Wait, that's it? That's the only fucking... That's the only emote? It's just going to be Komodo Hype or Umi? Is that what we're doing? Well, that sucks. Fucking make Umi win then. That shit... Uh, what do you mean? It's like, it's like actually a fucking solid pog champ. Uh, one, of the, one of the best ones. And also beyond that, like Komodo Hype already has their own fucking emote. What is this? All the normies are so confused. If anything, like, this is probably an infinitely more confusing situation for the political normies that are watching me for political coverage right now than, like, me fucking playing Grand Theft Auto roleplay. Like, that they can understand. It's like, oh, this is like The Sopranos, but, you know, worse improv acting. Whereas this is like, what? They want to fucking... They're having, like, a battle to the death about fucking... Like a, like a small pixelated image that you see on the corner of the screen? Like, I, I'm so confused. This is politics as well. I bet she's still lo I fucked up. I should have voted for her. I feel bad. I can't change my vote, right? See, this is what I mean. It's fucking... Wait. Aww. This is bullshit, dude. You can't... You can fucking change your vote. Ah, uh, uh, illegal votes! Illegal votes! Someone stole my ballot and cast it in my place! Vote tampering, stop the Komodo steal! Hype. Komodo will be the next Pog champ. Komodo to the moon. I didn't mean to do it. I'm really sorry. I think this is a really good emote and deserves to win. I literally months, thought months. it doesn't fucking matter because it's a bracket style and I am ultimately want Myth to win because that's my boy. And I didn't know that... It really didn't do a good job describing what the fuck was going on, honestly. Yeah, I didn't get to cure my... Uh, I didn't get to cure my ballot. You brought up a good point. I feel bad for voting for Komodo Less Hype. Than three. You were screaming at use re. Oh, shut up. Typical lefty not voting for the woman. Yeah, I saw yeah. guys. I fucked up. I got an email two days ago for that my team and I didn't see that before. Myth has a team. What the fuck? Dude. Ah, Claire McCaskill. Anyways, uh, I I'm I'm kind of bored with that the fucking Mr. compies, but oh. I did want to. Uh, I did want to. Uh, point out that uh, there was another really incredible defense that the Trump team put forward, which is uh, that here let's just let's just hear the, the lawyer say over it. the years to clearly Three. establish elected officials have the right to engage in protected speech. Mr. Trump is not just a guy on the street or a guy at a bar or a fire chief or Stop a the police officer. There were a few of them in there. All analogies given by the House managers. These sideways analogies are wrong. Mr. Trump was an elected official, and there is an entire body of law, Supreme Court landmark cases. So Guys, when you're an American, you have constitutionally protected free speech. When you're a president, you have extra free speech. And the more the president you are, the freer your speech is. The election, by the election, way, this is completely election. incorrect. One, that's not a real thing. And two, it's the opposite. When you're the fucking president, you have less free speech, not more, dumbass, especially in an impeachment trial. You could literally be impeached for something that would never, ever in a million years throw you in jail as a president. Okay? Hassle. There is no free speech protection when it comes down to impeachment processes. It is fucking idiotic. It is not a good argument because... The president has less free speech when it comes One to impeachment. No, for example, for example, if someone 
said, and I use it all the time, the fucking N-word, okay? That is still, it's hate speech, but it's still free speech protected by the Constitution. If the president, on the other hand, said it in a public sentiment, and not in like, uh, I'm reciting Tom Sawyer or some shit, like straight up called black people uh, the N-word, that is reasonable to fucking impeach them. Like, you can absolutely fucking impeach a president over that, regardless of whether or not it is protected speech by the Constitution. Do you understand? Hassle. The conclusion that Mr. Trump actually has enhanced free speech rights because he is an elected official. The law is developed. Getting top and lying about it, no punishment in the real world, but impeachable. Exactly. You get a fucking blowjob, you get a fucking blowjob, and you lie about it, you're not going to jail. Unless, you know, like, don't, don't do the fucking argument unless it's like, oh, there's no consent, or like, oh, what if they're underage? Like, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Two consenting adults uh, decide to suck one another off, and you lie about getting sucked off by another consenting adult, okay? You don't go to fucking jail. But you can get impeached for lying about it when you're the president. It is the exact opposite. So what this fucking dipshit is doing is expanding on executive power in a, a situation where we have an enforcement mechanism that's supposed to literally take away the president's power. So what Republicans are doing in this circumstance is infinitely more dangerous as far as the president goes. Impeach They're revealing the winner, uh, Komodo won. Who I'm gonna won? go to in just a moment, but again, thank We're you everyone lie. that voted. Yep. Let, let's do it. Let, let's check it out. Let's find out who the new permanent Pog champ is as a part of the Pog championing. Will it be Umi no Kaiju or Komodo Dragon of Komodo Hype? You're about to find out. Wait, why'd you guys say Komodo won? I hope they fucking cooked the books and made sure Umi won. I feel really bad. Very elaborate. Very high tech. <laughs> I've got this voting machine actually in my house. <laughs> this is just yeah. yeah. I've got the hot dog version. Oh, we've got the hot dog version. Never mind. Now we know. That's insane, dude. graduation music with all of that going on it just felt so ceremonial Look at all but yet, i like that so oh, the chat oh my goodness gracious the cat coming out of nowhere komodo hype uh is um, the new pop uh oh see out of character uh can you guys please stop spamming komodo hype it's it's overheating my laptop that my mom got for me um it's really eating up my ram Um, please stop. Please stop spamming Komodo hype. Um, please. My mom brought me this. My mom bought me this new laptop and it gets really hot when chat is being spammed. I'm out of character now. My leg is starting to hurt because it's getting so hot. Please, if you don't want me to get burned, then don't spam the chat. No, you're spamming it even harder now. Um... No, that's only for GIF emotes. Get with the jokes, Boomer. Okay, dude. All right. This shit is boring as fuck. Uh, Trump has extra uh, speech, extra freedom of speech, as we were saying. My mom bought me this new laptop. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care time. Can you talk like that for the rest of NoPixel? No. Twitch has like 99% literal NPCs. They literally voted for an emote we already have. We The Trump defense is over. They'll do a Q&A session with the senators now. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's fucking relevant or even uh, fun.
literally the opposite of this is Thanks for getting me woke to all the BS. <clears throat> That's a dumb argument. Does Pog mean person of greatness? Yes. Watch this Komodo dragon turn out to be an insurrectionist and we'll need to revote. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I heard the Komodo dragon is actually, um, is, uh, anti-vaxxer, so, uh, I'm afraid we're gonna have to go, <laughs> I'm afraid we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board here, okay? Sorry, guys. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't know. It's fine. The best part, the Komodo dragon can't be canceled. That's what you think, dude. As man, we're dying out here. Gonna need to hear your 2022 midterm predictions for about an hour. Okay, that's not, I'm not gonna give you my 2022 midterm predictions yet. I have no fucking idea what's gonna happen from here on out. Like, many things can change. Lord Oh, uh, another another incredible argument from the defense team, uh, uh, the brilliant minds over at the Trump defense team, was that, uh, well, Donald Trump can't have incited a riot uh, or an insurrection because he loves law and order. Um, why does he love law and order? Well, listen to all the times that he said law and order. And honoring the men and women of law enforcement. Contrast the president's repeated condemnations of violence with the rhetoric from his opponents. I am your president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. The vast majority of, of the protesters have been peaceful. Republicans stand for law and order and we stand for justice. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. My administration will always stand against violence, mayhem, and disorder. There needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. I stand with the heroes of law enforcement. And you push back on them, and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. We will never defund our police, Together, we will ensure that America is a nation of law and order. We're in high school, I'd take you behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. But I think you need to go back and, and punch him in the face. I feel like punching him. We just want law and order. Everybody wants that. I want to tell you, Lord Judge, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. We want law and order. We have to have law and order. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. We believe in safe streets, secure communities, and we believe in law and order. Fucking owned, dude. Fucking owned, actually. Um, I'm sorry. I know we're in the Nuremberg trials, but uh, we were simply actually following the orders. I mean... If you say you're following the law, if you say you love the law, then uh, what do you mean? I mean, that's, uh, that's foolproof. Like, just because someone says fucking law and order doesn't mean that they legitimately care about law and order. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? He also fucking said that, like, that there's... I mean, he didn't actually say there's a deep state conspiracy, but he kept alluding to the fact that there's a deep state conspiracy. Uh, akin to what the QAnon conspiracies are within the FBI. So does that mean he fucking hates the FBI? This is like watching the trial of Tim Heidecker again. Yeah, but did you hear the... Do they think this is an election because that's just a political attack ad? I mean, they just all know... they. That's all they know, man. They... <laughs> All Republicans know is cut fucking uh, clip chimp videos 
Uh, cut video with Hans Zimmer and, uh, scoring. Eat hot chip and lie. Trump lawyers do some what about is my suggestion Bernie Sanders is just as responsible for Stephen Scalise's shooting as Trump is for the insurrection. Yeah, Bernie Sanders, uh, very famously, this was an argument that people were trying many. to make at the time, I remember. Bernie Sanders is famously a very violent person who very violent, who says very violent things in his speeches. Oh wait, no, it's the exact fucking opposite. Sorry. It's literally the exact opposite, dude. You're fucking insane. We have both PogChamp and Komodo hype now. Yeah, that's so stupid. Yeah, Bernie, Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders incited violence upon Stephen Scalise by advocating for Medicare for all. Kind of weird. Bernie Sanders incited violence against Stephen Scalise by uh, advocating for higher tax cuts for the wealthy, more regulation for the banking industry and other industries in general. Man. What a fucking violent person he is. Yeah. Well, what about that's the real violence, but M4A is actually a white nationalist position. Yeah, I know. Fucking liberals, dude. They straight up have like... Have you seen France's liberal party attack Le Pen from the right about her not being soft on, is her being soft on Islam? I don't want to talk about France, and I do not want to talk about fucking Islamophobia in France. Please. Don't go... I don't want to go down that rabbit hole again. Yes, Macron sucks. They do the exact same bullshit that the Democrats do here. Neoliberals everywhere engage in the same kind of idiotic fucking... Uh, I idiotic uh, campaign tactics. Which is to outflank the reactionaries by saying even more reactionary things which only solidifies the reactionary position and does nothing to benefit the, the neoliberal leadership because they're going to be seen as feckless cowards regardless. Okay? It's so Three fucking stupid. I like how the chat always asks questions related to whatever this morning's daily podcast was talked about. Is that what the daily was about today? Anyway, let's get to the last story of the day that I want to get to. Like, the last big story Fog. of the day I want to get to. Which is the story of Gina Carano. Who apparently is a character on the Mandalorian series. Um, by Disney. Uh, who is a, a conservative. Okay, so let's talk about it. So, Gina Carano is a conservative. What does that mean in the year... What does that mean in the year 2021? Being an outspoken conservative in the year 2021 doesn't mean that you're, like, you know, anti-regulation and uh, you talk about how... From a fellow Beto. I don't know. What the fuck? Like, the deficit and, and how deficit spending is bad or something. Like, that's not... That's not what uh, 2021 conservatives talk about. What do 2021 conservatives talk about? Well, they are in an endless cycle of perpetual victimhood to a degree where they will compare themselves to uh, Jews in the Holocaust, right? Like being a conservative in modern day America is like being a Jew in the Holocaust. Um, what else do they talk about? They say masks don't prevent uh, disease spread going Four against the, money uh, the consensus, the scientific consensus on the matter. Um, and also every uh, bit of evidence that we've seen, even anecdotal evidence, as a matter of fact, that masks do, in fact, uh, prevent viral spread. Um, 
they talk about uh, how trans people are crazy or whatever. Uh, they're, they're just like regularly just they're transphobic all the fucking time. And um, what else? What else? What else? What else do regular conservatives believe in? Like, just they don't believe in the shit that uh, professional nice. conservatives act like they actually believe in. And uh, people are assassinating their fucking characters for... Uh, they, they believe in idiotic and nonsensical and psychopathic things. Okay? Hassle. So, that's exactly what happened with Gina Carano. Gina Carano routinely posted her nonsensical and idiotic conspiracies about, you know, masks are bad and, you know, they're fucking lame. And also uh, finally said something around the lines of. Actually, I'll just show you the post. Uh, Modern day conservatism being exactly like Jews in the Holocaust. Do you have the actual? Uh, Honestly, do you have the actual the story post? that I think? No, I don't want to. I don't want to see Shapiro's reaction to it yet because. So yeah, Lucasfilm calls Gina Carano social media post abhorrent actress no longer employed by the Mandalorian studio. So she had a bunch of these posts, right? And I'm going to give you what my personal opinion is regardless uh, in the end. Okay, so I'm just going to give you the details right now. She said things like, on her Instagram story, they featured a person with several masks covering their face and the head with a caption, meanwhile in California, making fun of masks. Um, and she posted this thing. Jews were beaten in the streets, not by Nazi soldiers, but their neighbors, even by children, because history is edited. Most people today don't realize that they that to get to the point where Nazi soldiers could easily round up thousands of Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply for being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? So to the people who are throwing up question marks and like saying yikes and shit, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, no, this is just regular conservatism. Okay. In this day and age, I don't think this is like inherently anti-Semitic. I'm not the, uh, the, the, end all be all on what is anti-semitic and what's not anti-semitic but like you're being over the top if you think that this is like literally like holocaust revisionism or something this is an age-old tactic that conservatives engage in where they say like in their endless cycle of of uh making their grievances seem a lot more extreme than they actually are they fucking do this they say this is literally the holocaust and then they project and say you're calling everyone hitler you're calling everyone nazis and you're, you're likening everything to the Holocaust. And most famously, of course, things that do resemble concentration camps or actual concentration camps can never be compared to the Holocaust, according to Ben Shapiro. But conservatives being targeted, well, that is definitely literally the Holocaust. Because he's a fucking charlatan, okay? Ben Shapiro, who, of course, in the past has defended and Coulter's actual anti-Semitic statements because she is a supporter of Israel. And Ben Shapiro has straight up said that before. So remember, these people are all gigantic fucking hypocrites. <laughs> anyway, where were we? It's not that it's revisionist. It's that it's an anti-Semitic tactic in the first place. It's not a reach. It's calling it what it always has been. But... You can call it both a conservative tactic and anti-Semitic. Yes, Nazis will use this sort of tactic to literally say exactly these things, which is you are being a Nazi yes, by not allowing me to uh, openly express my uh, opinion, my political opinion. This is a common tactic applied by Nazis. In this circumstance, though, no, she's just a fucking psychopathic, psychopathic conservative who is saying some really dumb shit. And I think people are, to some degree, overreacting to it by literally being like, she's literally anti-Semitic. That's why she's doing it. I'm sorry. That's my take. Do I think that she should have been fired for this? No, I don't think she should have been fired for this. That's also my take. Now, having said that, though, would I go to fucking, would I lose my mind and be like, this is 1987 George Orwin Animal Crossing? No, it's not. This has been an ongoing fucking thing for a very long time. Okay. Companies engage in this overcorrective behavior because they don't want any sort of fucking brand risks. All right? That's just the reality. That is the world in which we live in. Specifically, right-wingers in general love when companies have this sort of freedom. They advocate for this sort of freedom, and then they fucking lose their minds when that freedom is turned on them. 
there is an acceptable amount of speech, okay, in modern American society that moves a little bit, that shifts somewhat, sometimes leftward, that shifts sometimes rightward. Anything outside of that boundary of acceptability is considered completely unacceptable, and you are all of a sudden a liability for your company. And you are. You are a PR liability for your company. Therefore, your company can fire you. If you want to advocate for better 